Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all you crew members out there, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Spent Too Much Diecast. Alrighty, we have a new casting for you guys to unbox here on the channel. We are doing the Jada version. 132nd up top, 124th down below. This are this is a brand new, not a brand new casting, but it's a new Fast and Furious casting. We have seen the the SRT Hellcat before. We saw it in the Heist vehicle, and they have made this not back in the day, really, because it's a 2021. So technically, it could be considered a new casting. But this is from the brand new movie Fast X. And here is the casting for it. So there has been a couple of new ones from the movie. Um, the Al Camino. This one is the Heist Charger. So I guess it's a 2006. So we do have a new version. They also do the 2006 version of the police car. The Porsche is new for this year. And then all these other ones are rollovers. Same with the 132nd. We see a new Al Camino, a Heist one. The Honda Civic, which was part of the Legacy series, same with the Porsche, um, same with the Camaro. And then we do have the police car there, and then again, the rest are just rollovers. So I guess you could say this is a newer casting because it's the 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. So like I said, we see it in two different scales, 132nd, 124th. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead get this thing unboxed and then we'll take a closer look at it all righty guys and we are back all righty let's take a look at this new casting from jada for the fast and the furious all right so we have the two scales here 132nd we'll do first then we'll take a look at the 124th and then we'll just do a quick comparison see if there is any difference all right, so item number is showing 34473. Again, scale 132nd, and they are saying this is the 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. So I guess you could say this is a newer casting. Um, the 2006 Charger, um, like we saw in the Heist one, they have done that one in the past, but since this is a new version of it, we now see it as a 2021. So I wonder if we'll be seeing this casting at all um, in their Big Time Muscle series, maybe. So here we go, 132nd, let's take a look at this. Um, grill inside there is all plastic. You got plastic headlights. Uh, it does have the SRT logo there on the grill. You have a little bit of plastic here on the hood, a little bit of plastic there with the motor coming through. Um, if, you, if you've seen that movie, Fast X, you know this one is driven by Dominic Toretto. There is the SRT logo on the fender. You have these black wheels, a little bit of paint there. But otherwise this one is pretty clean. Uh, interior, nothing major. It is just all plastic, no stickers, no accent colors, nothing like that. So it's almost like a stock um, it's a stock version minus the, the motor. The rear doors do not open. Going along to the back, you have the Dodge logo. All the taillights back there are plastic. It does say Charger SRT again on the deck lid. Fast X for a license plate. The bottom is plastic part of the base. You do have gray paint for the tips. Of course, no trunk opens, nothing like that. Here is your passenger side, exactly the same. And there's your opening door. So like I said, on the 130 seconds, nothing really opens except for the doors. But if you don't have room for the big versions, these are always a um, good choice for these seconds. And some of the vehicles for Fast and the Furious, they release in only 130 seconds and not 124 ths and there's a few of them that are only released in 124th and not 132nd. So this one should be exciting to see since it's a new one. So 34472, scale 124th, 2001 
2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. So, like I said, this is a new casting. It just came out for the Fast X. Um, I have not seen these in stores yet. I actually ordered these online. So, and I do have a couple more Fast and the Furious ones coming. So definitely stay tuned to that. So we'll take a look at it here in the front. The grill is all plastic. You got the SRT logo again, almost like black housing headlights with the little uh, detail around them. Uh, this is plastic, part of the hood. A little slip there, plastic for the motor. We'll have to see what the motor looks like after, if that actually opens or not. All right, there's the Hellcat logo. Same type of wheels. You do have the brakes and calipers back there being black. Um, you do have the same paint on the side there. And again, there's no graphics to this, which is kind of nice. It's like a stock, um, just a stock charger, minus the motor. Uh, I do have some uh, gauges back there behind the steering wheel. Otherwise, everything inside is just um, plastic. Again, rear doors do not open. Calipers back there, a little bit of red in the back there. All right, going along to the back, you got the Dodge logo again, plastic um, taillights, charger, SRT4, Fast X logo, and here we have some chrome exhaust. Trunk does open. Nothing back there. Passenger side should be exactly the same. Again, nothing on the inside. It would be cool if they were able to make these where both sets of doors open. All right, let's take a look at the hood. So let's see if this protrudes through. Kind of looks like it should, but we'll see here. All right, so it does. So nothing major for the motor, just the top here is painted and there is a hole in the um, hood so it does show through. But otherwise no other detail to the motor. So I wonder if they end up if they do end up making these part of the um, big time muscle line. I wonder if they're gonna leave the hood like that or if they're gonna go back to a stock hood. So, I mean, if they have the licensing for this, it is possible that we will see it as a, another line. Just like for the Porsche, we originally saw the Porsche for Fast and the Furious, the blue one. And if you guys have seen some of my other videos, they did release that Porsche again, part of their new series, Pink Slips. So definitely go back and check out some of my other videos because um, we do have a lot of Jada unboxings and we have a lot more coming. So let's go ahead and take a comparison now of the two. So starting off in the front, it basically um, looks identical. We have the same SRT logo, um, kind of got a little bit of graphics on the headlights. So that's not too much difference. The side is about the same, same type of wheels. Um, and this is a, interesting. Not many 132nd versions have side mirrors, but this does have side mir mirrors um, casted into the um, door. These are a little bit, uh, not as rubbery as most, but not too bad. Let's see here. The gray is just a little bit different. The top one is a little bit darker than the bottom one. But not too bad. We have the same black around the windows. It's got the little antenna fin on both. All right, going to the back. Actually looks pretty good. Uh, the license plate on the bottom one is a little bit more detailed than the top. And of course we have chrome exhausts on the bottom rather than the gray, um, the gray on top. But other than that, not too bad. So these castings are almost identical. Like I said, the gray is a little bit darker on top than the bottom, but that is about it. So there you go, guys. There is the new 2021 Dodge Charger SRT8 Hellcat from 
Jada, part of the Fast and Furious set in the new movie Fast X. So there it is. We did un unbox a couple other ones from Fast X, the El Camino, and I got a couple more coming. So there are two new 132nd versions coming as well. Those will be um, interesting to see. But there we go. So if you guys haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew. Hit the bell notification. Give this video a thumbs up. All that good stuff. I appreciate all the crew members out there who are already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds. Join the crew. We do a bunch of unboxings here. Jada, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, all that good stuff. Full collections, uh, Marvel, uh, all that good stuff on here. Definitely join the crew. Uh, hit that like button. It gives... Um, YouTube, the nice algorithm so other people can see this video. Uh, share it with your friends, family, all that good stuff. Definitely go check out our Facebook page. Um, check out our sales page, all that good stuff. All that stuff helps the channel. And I appreciate everybody out there who does all that good stuff. So until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Fast X unboxing. And we'll see you on the next one. Everybody have a good day. Bye.